This tutorial is one of the many instructional videos presented by the Olympus America Scientific Equipment Group, Industrial Microscopes. This video will provide you with detailed instructions on how to utilize the Macro Manager tool in the Olympus Stream Image Analysis software platform. First, we need to create a tool window for the Macro Manager. This can be easily accessed from the menu View, Tool Windows, Macro Manager. You will now notice a tool window on your desktop for the Macro Manager. First, we're going to go ahead and click the button Create Macro. Type in a name for your macro. We'll call this one Particle Detection. After you have entered a name for your macro, the macro recorder will automatically start recording every keystroke you make. You will also notice that the record button is depressed by default in the Macro Manager toolbar and is grayed out. The first step of this macro is to binarize our image. In other words, convert it into either black or white. An image can be binarized from the menu Image, Mode, and choosing Binary. Now we can select which grayscale values are binarized to black or white via grayscale thresholding. After you have selected which grayscale values are to be binarized accordingly, simply press the OK button. After the binarization has been completed, you may notice that some neighboring particles may be touching. Unfortunately, these particles may be inaccurately counted as one during the particle detection. Therefore, a morphological filter can be applied which will automatically separate each of these touching particles automatically. You can execute this filter from the menu Process, Morphological Filter, Separate Objects. Modify the parameters of your particle separation filter, then click the OK button. Now that the particles which have been previously touching have been automatically separated, we can continue on to the next step of the particle detection, which is to set our grayscale thresholds. Setting thresholds is a process in which we segment the image into two distinct components, one of which are the particles to be detected, and the other is simply the background not to be detected. We can automatically segment our image by selecting our background, whether it's dark, bright, or automatic. After we segment our image or set our thresholds, we can simply press the count and measure button. After clicking the count and measure button, measurement results are listed for each individual particle in compliance with the parameters you had previously defined. For example, area, diameter, or aspect ratio. Measurement results can then be exported to Microsoft Excel with the click of a button. Simply define a file path and give your spreadsheet a file name, then click the Save button. The workflow is now complete, therefore we can stop recording the macro by pressing the Stop Macro Recording button. To run this macro, or any pre-recorded macro, select it from the drop-down menu, then press Play. The macro will now execute, stepping through each of the commands listed for that particular macro. As your application requirements may change, the macro can be easily modified. For example, let's say that you no longer wish to have objects separated in the macro. Simply uncheck the active box for that particular step. Next time the macro was ran, that step will be skipped. Also, the parameters of any step of the macro can be modified. For example, let's say that the grayscale threshold parameters of the segmentation are too aggressive and need to be decreased. By clicking the parameters button, you can modify the grayscale thresholds accordingly.
Next time the macro is ran, these newly defined parameters will be utilized, replacing the former. However, in some instances, there may be no universal parameter that will work for all images. Therefore, you may choose to enable the execution mode. With the execution mode enabled for a particular step, the macro will pause, prompting the operator to interactively define the parameters for that particular image on the fly. When the macro was ran, you will now notice that the operator is prompted to set the segmentation grayscale thresholds. By default, the macro is only available to the author. However, the author can choose to publish their macro so that other users logged onto the same computer can access that macro. Click on the Macro Management drop-down menu. Then, select Publish Macros. Now, check the box for the particular macro or macros that you wish to publish, then click the OK button. The icon of the double head on the left of the macro name is an indication that the macro has been published. In addition to publishing macros on a single computer, you can choose to export the macro file to a network location so that stream users on other computers can import the macro file. Further, the user can preview the effects of each individual step of a macro at their own pace by clicking the Step Through Macro command. You can create a new macro by clicking the New Macro button or delete the selected macro by clicking the Delete Macro button. You can also toggle between macros from the drop-down menu next to the macro name where a complete list of all available macros will appear. In this instructional video, we have covered how to utilize the Macro Manager tool in the Olympus Stream Image Analysis software platform. We hope this video has been beneficial and we invite you to contact us directly with any questions whatsoever.